Caligula, who reigned from AD 37 to 41, is notorious for his excessive indulgence, harsh dictatorship, and outrageous pronouncements of godhood that sent waves of shock and fear through the heart of the Roman society. Recognized as one of the most erratic and volatile emperors, his decisions and actions resonated with the echo of boundless madness. His luxurious living and debauchery were unprecedented, rapidly depleting the royal treasury. His extravagance was the stuff of legends. He would frequently throw grand feasts and orgies consuming resources at an alarming rate. His personal ship, a floating palace adorned with rare jewels and gold, was a testament to his reckless spending. The Roman citizens resented the wasteful use of their hard-earned tax money on such needless luxuries. Caligula's cruel treatment of the Senate was another factor that made him widely despised. He would publicly humiliate and even execute senators on a whim, instilling terror and hatred in the hearts of those who were supposed to be his allies. Such disgraceful treatment of the prestigious Roman Senate was unheard of, and further fueled the citizens' disgust towards him. Caligula's audacious claims of divinity not only shocked but also outraged the Roman populace. The very idea of a mortal emperor declaring himself a god was unthinkable, leading to widespread unrest and disbelief. Such claims were sacrilegious and deeply offended sensibilities of the Roman citizens. His tyrannical rule saw broad economic devastation as he squandered resources on personal pleasures and extravagant displays of wealth. His unpredictable behavior, coupled with his harshness, led to horrifying acts that pushed Rome to the brink of chaos and anarchy. His downfall was as dramatic as his reign, culminating in his bloody assassination by the very guards who were sworn to protect him. Nero, emperor from AD 54 to 68, ascended the throne as a beacon of hope, only to extinguish it with his descent into despotism. Initially celebrated as a promising young leader, Nero's path soon veered into darkness. His rule took a sinister turn characterized by his relentless pursuit, brutal persecution, and systematic oppression of Christians. He made Christians scapegoats for his failures, subjecting them to harrowing tortures and public executions that horrified the citizens of Rome. His paranoia and lust for power also drove him to commit unthinkable acts, including the brutal murder of his own mother, Agrippina. In cold blood he ordered her execution, shocking the Roman society with his unprecedented matricide. His ruthless and heartless actions towards his family members made him a figure of revulsion and hatred among the citizens. Nero's reign was further marred by the colossal fire of Rome, a disaster of monumental proportions. Despite the absence of concrete evidence many believe this catastrophe was a product of Nero's own machinations, rumors endured that he ordered the fire to clear land for his extravagant palace, the Domus Aurea. Nero's apathy towards the suffering Romans during this horrendous event, coupled with his alleged role in causing it, fostered an intense dislike among the citizens. His reign therefore was not merely a reign, but a horrifying chronicle of escalating fear and terror. His rule was a reign of terror that ended in a forced suicide, leaving a legacy steeped in cruelty, mismanagement, and an utter disregard for the well-being of the people he was meant to protect. Commodus, whose reign spanned from AD 180 to 192, demonstrated a dismissive attitude towards the Stoic teachings of his father, Marcus Aurelius, instead being drawn to the savage fascination of the gladiatorial arena. Commodus was enveloped by his inflated sense of self, visualizing himself as an invincible deity, thereby neglecting the conventional duties of a monarch. His rule was characterized by a perilous erraticism, a drastic divergence from his father's sage-like composed administration. Commodus reveled in indulgence, his court becoming an outrageous display of his hedonistic exploits. His self-indulgence, coupled with his blatant disregard for his father's principles, stirred resentment among the populace. He was so engrossed in his own pleasures that he failed to attend to the needs of his people, making him a despised figure in the eyes of the Roman citizens. His subjects, held hostage by fear and uncertainty, could only observe helplessly as their emperor descended into the abyss of despotism. His unpredictable and autocratic style of rule, far removed from the democratic ideals cherished by the Roman populace, further fueled their disdain for him. This capricious autocracy planted the seeds of his downfall, culminating in his brutal assassination, an event met with relief rather than sorrow by a citizenry longing for liberation from his tyranny. These emperors are remembered not just for their reign but for their monstrous actions, reflecting the terrifying implications of unchecked power, 
the whimsical swings of fortune and the haunting legacy of their notoriety etched deeply into the annals of Roman history. They ruled with an iron fist, their power absolute and their whims law. The people lived in constant fear, with dread filling their hearts at the mere mention of their names. They were not just rulers, they were despots, their actions and decisions driven by madness and cruelty. The Senate too lived in fear, their power but a mirage in front of the emperor's absolute authority. The people's cries for mercy fell on deaf ears, their pleas for justice ignored. These emperors were symbols of terror, their rule characterized by tyranny, their reign a chilling testament to the depths of cruelty, madness and tyranny that marked their rule.